It's <laughs> now time for joking off, and would you please, wel <laughs> please welcome <laughs> the one and only doing doing a big tour at the moment is Jim Owen. <laughs> You're not too, uh, well, you haven't really started it yet, have you? You're not too tired from doing it, but you haven't started yet. I start, I start on the 7th. You start on the, uh, start on the 7th of July through to the 12th of July at the Regal Theatre in Perth. Then you go to Sydney on the 14th of July and you're doing a whole lot of dates in Sydney. Then to Canberra and then to Queensland. Watch out for uh, the big tour. He's got the uh, same dresser as the Wiggles. No, I don't think so. Uh, but Glenn Robbins might. Glenn Robbins! <laughs> Have you in? Get the middle behind your mate there. Beside your mate. And, and we'll bring him straight out, Paul Collegia. <laughs> the regular Paul Collegia. Sounds good. The regular Paul Collegia. At least I think you're regular. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, good. <laughs> and Glenn, what are you doing? Apart from the panel, what are you doing? Um, you, uh, did you go away and come back? Have you just come back? Or are you just about to go away? You... No, no, I've been here the whole time. Yeah, oh, doing the panel and enjoying that and okay. uh, doing some things at Channel uh, the other. Uh, oh, the are as you? Well. Yeah. Either with the girls, which yeah. we, don't, we can't mention that. No, yet. we can't mention that. Okay, no. all right. But you're yeah, quite amazing. You slip in and out of all commercial channels just like that. Nobody even notices. You know, yeah. you do. There's be a lot of things I do that you don't notice, Daryl. Well, I'm glad I don't <laughs> notice some of them. Yeah. This is joking off where we'll just test your buzzer, Jimmo, and you, you just test the buzzer there. Oh. <laughs> uh, Characters. Right, <laughs> right. There we go. There's, There's a, a laugh, laugh a minute. Go, you guys. It's going to happen. There's a laugh a minute with this lot. <laughs> and Paul. Excellent. Now, the idea... Red, red, amber and <clears throat> green. <laughs> They'll be like traffic lights. <laughs> it wasn't a joke, I just thought it would be a good idea. <laughs> I caution you there uh, because we've uh, got these jokes which you've meant to jump in on uh, after I give you the feed and you give me the tag. Now, if you give me the correct tag that I have here, you'll win 10 points. If you give me, uh, if you give me a good answer anyway, I'll probably still give you 10 if it's really a good laugh from our audience. So our audience uh, feature in this heavily too, hopefully. <laughs> Question one. What's red and green? <coughs> Jamoan. Peppers. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'll give you five for the laugh. <laughs> not what I've got here, but I mean, it's not a standard joke, is it, really? Yeah, but on yeah. sale of the century, that would have definitely got a point, wouldn't it? Yeah, it probably <laughs> would, but I'm not Glenn. An embarrassed Irishman? <laughs> yes. Oh, what's yeah. really? <laughs> green? I was working hard there. Yeah, no, that's all right. We don't have to go any further with that. The, the, uh, the, the uh, what answer I've got here is tomato working part time as a cucumber. But I don't think that's going to get ten. Frog and liquidator. That's right. No, yeah. Kermit in a blender. Oh, yeah. Frog in a blender. Hang on, they're coming. They're coming too fast now. Let's go on to number two. A sheik is being sued for divorce by his five hundred wives because they came home early and caught him. Paul, um, drinking the orange juice straight out of the bottle. <laughs> No, it's probably better than the answer I've got here, though. Uh, I'll get rid of it. A sheik is being sued for divorce by his 500 wives. They came home early and caught him... ...by the throat and said, get out, we're filing for a divorce. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, five. Hey, got a laugh. Get away. Yeah. Now, they came home early and caught him with 500 other women. Um, question three, and I, uh, question three, I, uh, I'll do this one. What did the alien say to the petrol pump? Paul, do you want to come back to my place? <laughs> I think he's taken something before coming onto the show. I don't know what it is. But uh, do you want to come back to my place? Um, got to laugh, give you five. Um, five! Way two. <laughs> All right, I'll give, you, I'll give you two. I've been overruled. Do you know it? Uh, uh, I'll get rid of it. What did the uh, alien say to the petrol pump? Uh, take your finger out your ear when I'm talking to you. <laughs> That's basically, yeah. Stuck in your ear. Ten. Yeah. Twenty. I got twenty. Close I had enough. one for that, but I'm not going to say it now. It was hilarious. <laughs> but move on. No, you stay on the notch. Sure, you want me to move on? No, move on. You guys are really No, no, I'm just here doing it. Man. Let's here see the scores. Let's see the scores again. Oh, you're loving it. You're so good. <laughs> <laughs> you twenty there, Glenn. Not uh, off the mark yet. Paul. Two. Uh, what do you call? <laughs> what do you? Here we go. Here we go. What do you call a woodpecker without a beak? Glenn. Woody Woodenpecker. <laughs> Five. 
<laughs> Woody woodpecker. Um, uh, uh, Paul, what do you call a woodpecker without a beak? Oh, uh, headbanger. <laughs> That's yeah. the answer I have here. Headbanger. Ten. Ten. Ooh, Ten. Don't, don't Those scores again. Twenty-five and twelve. Doctor, doctor, you've got to help me. I just swallowed my harmonica. <laughs> and it's given me the blues. <laughs> eight. Eight. Yeah. You eight for that one. Doctor, doctor, you've got to help me. I just swallowed my harmonica. Uh, Paul? Um, take two ukuleles and call me in the morning. <laughs> Eight. That was funny. Eight. That was Eight. Very good. Uh, it just says, lucky you weren't playing the piano. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, Question yeah. six. What kind of bow is impossible to tie? Bull Derek. <laughs> Eight. It's not, it's, not the score, it's not the one I have here, but it's very close. What kind of bow is impossible to tie? A rainbow. <clears throat> Yeah. Question seven. Too. Why do koalas carry their babies on their backs? That's <laughs> <laughs> not funny. We should have a of a clock. <laughs> um, okay, they, they can't push a pram up a tree. <laughs> All right. Question eight. What's yellow, hot and hairy? <laughs> Paul. Um, big bird's armpit. <laughs> uh, I'll give you five. Glenn, what's yellow, hot and hairy? A rash I had once. <laughs> <laughs> a very yes! naughty eight. Yes! A very naughty eight. Way to go, Glenny! It's clearing up, though. What about that? The actual answer was, uh, the actual answer was cheese on toast dropped on the carpet. Must have been a pub in it. Number nine. Question nine. I took my dog to the flea circus and guess what? It was $10 to get in. <laughs> 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 no, uh, two. I took my dog to the flea circus and guess what? Paul. The circus ran away with him. Oh. Yeah, that's his recovery. That's, uh, yeah, yeah, well, he, he stole the show. Yeah. Didn't get a laugh, didn't though. Didn't get a laugh. That uh, worries me. I'll give you four. Uh, and we're running out of time. We're just about to give you a look. I'm so unlucky. I got home and found my waterbed. Glenn was having it off with the couch. <laughs> hey, hey. Hey. I feel unlucky. I got home and found my waterbed had caught fire. Uh, final score check there. Oh, we dear. have 38. 38. Uh, Glenn on 21 and Paul on 29. Jim Owen, Vinnie Claire, Jim Owen, uh, the, uh, the winner of Joking Culture for this week. Doesn't really matter though, had a bit of fun. Thank you, Glenn. Thank you, Jim Owen. And thank you, Paul, on the end, who was joking on.